Hello lads, uh, it's another great day for an unboxing. Um, today uh, I'm going to unbox uh, Mocha Link. It's a 2.5 GB switch. Uh, before even unboxing this thing, I want to uh, say uh, a huge thanks to Mocha Link for sponsoring this video. Um, I requested for a for a sample of their switch and uh, their response was instant uh, a great customer service so they sent me a a switch a two and a half GB switch uh, so I appreciate uh, Mocha Link for sponsoring this video okay, let's get to the box the usual stuff you have your manual and then the actual switch i'm gonna make this short because a lot of my friends complain that my videos are too long so i just want to make this quick as quick as possible this video is going to contain the unboxing and then i'm going to go over the uh my network hierarchy my network map and then do some tests on the switch so this this is the model number it's uh, 2G041G. It's uh, as it mentioned. It's uh, it's a five port, two and a half GB. I don't know if you see it. Five port, two and a half GB Ethernet switch. So we are aiming on uh, connecting devices to uh, the two and a half GB network. It's an unmanaged switch, but there's an uplink here, and then there are four ports. I guess with different. Uh, lights i think what i saw is that the one on the as you can see it here the one on the uh left is two and a half gb one gb and then the one on the right is uh 100 or uh 10 megabit per second which we're not interested so we're uh, more interested in the two and a half gb so that's the switch it has a metal casing um yeah, there's a that's for the warranty i guess uh, that's and that's the power plug and there, there should be an adapter here a dc adapter which is right here and it says it's uh 12 volt 2 amps i don't know if you see it here and that's it I'll uh, jump right into uh, my network hierarchy. Okay. Back uh, to my desktop, I uh, want to go over uh, the uh, network hierarchy or network map of the connections that I have uh, to each component uh, or computer. I have three uh, main levels basement main floor top floor and the aim here is to connect all the computers with two and a half GB capability to that uh, Mocha link uh, uh, unmanaged switch uh, Keep in mind. I have a uh, internet higher than a gigabit. So I want to benefit using uh, that speed on each computer uh, now uh, the, the three computers that I'm interested in are the as you can see the server and there's a HDPC on the main floor and there's a, a PC on the top floor. Each of these three are actually capable of 2.5G and uh, 10G. So the 2.5G is, uh, is through uh, LAN cables RJ45 and the 10G which I'm not going to waste time here is with fiber uh, and the fiber is with the Mikrotik 10GB switch but that's only internet, right? intranet uh not internet uh so each each of the components they have a separate ip so what, for example this one 192 168 123 120 and 121 for the uh, two and a half g which are currently running at 1g but i want to connect them to the two and a half g uh so the fa uh, the fiber to the house comes in, goes to the bell modem, and then two and a half GB connection to the a a GTAX 6000, which I did a review, I'll put the link in the description if you're interested. And then from the Asus router to the unmanaged switch, 
And as you can see, there are three connections. One is here to the server, another one to the main for this computer here, and from the basement to the top four again for that two and a half GB connection. Okay, let's jump into uh, connecting the wires to the switch and do the tests. I'll get back. So I'm in the basement and I connected all the wires to the RJ45s to the switch. Uh, just to explain the, the light uh, indication, you see the one on, with the orange on the left. If it's orange, that means it's 2.5G. And you see the last one here, that's only 1G. So the one on the left is uh, green, that means it's 1. And then the ones on the right is, I, I think it's just for network, network activity. You can use any of the ports for the uplink. I use this one and then this one is to the server, this one to the main floor, and this one to the top floor. And the uplink obviously is going to the uh, Asus router. The consumption without anything connected to it was around uh, 0.8 wattage. Uh, I have a watt meter here. And as you can see, with all the ports connected, it's around 4.8 to 5. So I would guess, yeah, that's that's around uh, the wattage that is going to consume on average. All right, let's, uh, let's go to the computers and see and do the tests. So folks, I'm back on my desktop computer and uh, I'll do two major tests. One is the speed test and then I'll use I, uh, iPerf to get the speed between each uh, machine. Before doing that, make sure you uh, you open this location and uh, with Notepad, run it as admin, go to all files, open host file, and make sure that you add the IP address of, of each machine. So this one is with the uh, the 10 GB and this one is with the 20 FG. I commented the ones with the 10G to make sure that, that when I'm doing the transfers, it goes through the 2.5G. And as a precaution, I disabled the 10G NIC card. Uh, so I'll do the speed test on the PC first uh, to see if I'm getting the speed higher than a gigabit, which I am getting. So this is working fine on the PC. That's a download, upload. It should be the same as the, the Bell modem and the Asus router, which is, which, uh, which is true. And then I'll go to the, uh, this is the computer in the main floor, the HTPC, which is the home theater PC. Uh, so sorry if I, if I say HTPC all the time, I just, I'm used to it. So this is fine again. It's almost uh, the same speed. Uh, after this, we'll go to the server. This should be fine. Let's jump to the server and do the test. And we should be able to get the same speed on the server as well, which we are getting definitely. Uh, while this is doing its job, let's just minimize this. So I'm, I'm, I'm using a, a, a software. It's not a software. It's a executable file and it's iperf. I can do a, another video on iperf, but what, I'll, uh, what I did is that I make one of the machines, for example, I this is a server, so it's listening on a certain port, so I make my one of my computers as a server, then I'll do the transfer uh, between those two for 20 seconds to see the speed, so let's do uh, speed between the the, uh, my this computer and the HDPC with the two and a half GB uh, NIC through that switch, and let's see what the speed is. So it's, you see, it's close to that two and a half uh, GB, which is perfect. We're doing this test, and that's the syntax of the uh, uh, of of the of the batch file that I have. So this is two and a half G. So this is between the uh, this computer and the HTPC, and then let's do another one between this computer and the server, my Windows server, to see if that connection is 2.5G. And as you can see, it's 2.5G as well. So this is perfect. As a final test, I want to do a transfer between 
this computer and a temporary folder that I created on my server machine. Uh, th that machine, let's, let's see uh, the result of this first. So this is perfect. Uh, now I want to transfer this. Uh, it's around 11.8 GB between this computer and the server. Uh, and then the, the destination is an NVMe. So it's, it's definitely capable of, of getting to that speed. But let's do the speed and see. And as you can see, we are getting that uh, two and a half gigabit. It's it's capping at around 300 megabytes per second, which I can do the calculation and see. But as you can see, there are no slowdowns or anything, even for the uh, files higher than 10 GB. So the switch is actually working just fine. Uh, the last test that I'm going to do is the uh, over time I'll see how the temperature on that switch is because I've seen a lot of people complaining the 2.5 GB switches are getting hot. But on the on these tests, tests that we did, it is working fine. Okay, I'll get back to you in a sec. As a final thought and to wrap things up, I've been testing the Mokerlink 5 port 2.5 GB switch. For the past uh, day or so, I put uh, so much load on it. I did uh, a lot of transfers between my computer over the network. And as you can see, even for the files higher than uh, 100 gigabytes, the speed uh, never dropped. I didn't see any significant uh, temperature spikes or temperature rise on the switch. So the switch is working uh, properly. If you have uh, internet speed higher than a gigabit, this is a, a good upgrade. Even if you want to expand your network capability, uh, go for this switch. Uh, the price is very reasonable. Uh, it's around $160 uh, Canadian on Amazon right now. The customer service again was fantastic. I want to thank uh, Mokerlink for providing me with this uh, switch and giving me the opportunity uh, to review the uh, and unbox the, the switch uh, thank you again guys for listening overall it's a fantastic switch the price is reasonable uh, it's uh, on on manage so it's plug and play uh, thank you guys for listening thank you guys for watching if you as usual if you uh, if you like the the video thumbs up if you didn't like it thumbs down uh, like and subscribe, leave me comments, and I'll see you in another video. Thank you, and have a good day.